Hello, this is CN Ona, and you are watching CN Great Councils and Forest Streets. Here is a, a very powerful VIP strategy that I call the Milky Way strategy. With this strategy, if you stick to the rules and conditions and trade with patience and also with proper money management, you can double your account within one to two days, still depending on your account size. It's very simple, but yet very powerful. You can trade with this strategy on boom and crash only, boom and crash only. And that's talking about boom 1000, boom 500, crash 1000 and crash 500, okay? And um, very shortly, I'll give you the conditions for you to trade with this strategy on all the pairs I just mentioned. Meanwhile, let's get straight uh, to the settings right away, okay? By clicking on the F icon, on the main chart, we do not have any indicator, but on indicator window one, we have uh, three indicators. And number one is stochastic oscillator. Here are the parameters. Percentage key period is one. Percentage deep period is one. Slowing is one. Price field, low and high. Uh, method is simple. The main, uh, the styles, the styles, the main is one pixel color is black. Please, I will advise you to use black background uh, because of this strategy okay so the main pixel is one and the color is uh, black signal uh, is also one the color is black then the levels very very important we have a uh, 95 96 97 5 4 3 35 65 and then the style uh, is three pixel color is this blue okay that blue right so we go back and click done and then we have the second indicator to be uh, the face MACD and the fast uh, EMA is 80, slow EMA is 20, MACD SMA is 12. You apply it to close styles. The main is one pixel. We don't want to see it. And uh, the color is black. And um, the signal line is four pixels, color is red. Then you click done. Okay, click done. Then the second MACD we have there um, is also, okay, is also this. The fast EMA is 20, slow EMA is 80, MACD SMA is uh, 12. You apply to close uh, the styles. Main is a uh, one pixel, signal is four pixel, then you click done. So let's get back to the uh, chart now for me to give you the conditions, okay? All right, um, first off, uh, the chart position. Let me show you the chart position. Your chart position must be at the position where you have this dollar sign, okay? Exactly here. This must be your chart position, okay? All right, that's one. Secondly, we are using zoom level two, okay? This is the first zoom level. We are using this zoom level this particular one yeah this is the zoom level we are using we are using this zoom level and then we must always have our horizontal line right inside the indicator window one okay we we'll bring in our horizontal line it must always be here you can choose you can make it any color of your choice because we're going to use it to trade okay now that's for that so for you uh, to buy on crash we are considering this is crash right uh, we are considering the red loop or the MACD signal line now all these lines you're seeing this green line and red line they are the MACD lines and they are also called loop the curvature made is a loop okay now we are looking at those two loops right now um, that's for that Okay, now to buy on crash, okay, um, you are going to be looking at this dollar sign because that is where your most current market position will always be, okay, and then uh, at that point, okay, our green loop. Or mark this signal line must always uh, be there at that point okay and then 
the uh, raid whenever you're considering must always be there as well but at this point now if um, a green loop was previously made just like this this was a past market okay a green loop was made and it curved down okay now if a green loop was previously made okay normally uh, the green loop coming down signifies downtrend whether long term or short term okay and red uh, loop going up signifies that the bulls are taking over okay now if a green loop is previously made and is above this 65 mark is above this 65 mark look at it the green loop is above the 65 mark here and then it curved moving down okay if that happened and then what you would do is to place your um horizontal line immediately on top of the green loop okay now remember that at that point the red loop will also be moving up you know and then it will be going to curve okay now you wait for the red curve to move and if it moves and cuts your horizontal line appearing at the upside just as you can see like this as soon as it cuts it okay you place your trade immediately remember it must cut the horizontal line okay remember you placed it on top of the green line and as a, at that time the red uh, line has not gotten to that point but you wait for the red line to cut the uh, horizontal line and as soon as it appears up place your trade okay and for crash 1000 you take between 10 to 15 candlesticks and you're out of the market for crash 500 you take between four to six candlesticks and you are out of the market okay so i'm going to show you example i'm going to take live trade and we're also going to back test okay so guys uh, look at where the conditions were perfectly met okay remember that you are taking your consideration uh, at this point okay because this is where your most current market position will always be okay look at the most current candlestick is directly on the dollar sign okay so um look at here it was made here the condition was perfectly made here look at when uh the red loop was exactly on the dollar sign look at it here okay look at it here and this was a previous green loop that was made and look at the red loop now at the point when this red was approaching here and this green loop was previously made you would have put your horizontal line right above the uh, right on top of the green loop it must be touching the green loop now and then you'll be watching until the red loop gets to the um horizontal line and cuts it and appears up here as soon as it appears up you place your buy and for crash 1000 you are taking between 10 to 15 candlesticks for crash 500 you are taking between four to six candlesticks okay now look at it here it was also met here now look at it if you had placed your horizontal line here okay look at it here it cut here exactly at this point then if you have placed your trade you would have taken 10 to 15 candlesticks okay now let's keep back testing okay remember both the green and the red uh, signal line must be above the 65 level okay now look at it here also it was met here now if you had placed your horizontal line above the green line okay when it was made you look that uh, it was sorry about that it was here that it corresponded cut here okay and then 
you place your buy and take 10 to 15 minutes candles okay and you're out of the market now let's quickly uh, back test on crash 500 before we go to boom okay okay this is crash 500 all right so let's look for the opportunity okay where it was made okay now look at this place look at the loop here okay the loop here now look at the corresponding place where it caught okay now you would have taken your four to five candlesticks before the spike now even if it spikes you must complete it okay now let's keep back testing remember that the loops must be above the 65 mark now look at this place this is crash 500 okay if you had placed let's just place the horizontal line so that you see exactly what i mean this was the green loop that was previously made and then we are leaving a horizontal line above it now look at when the market was on the dollar sign so it caught here and went up so if you have placed you would have taken now on crash 500 you can take more than that but stick to four to six because of the way it spikes okay that's a uh, crash okay that's crash so you can keep back testing and back testing you have to be patient with the strategy if it does not cross if the red loop does not cross uh, the horizontal line if you place it please do not take the trade for crash okay i'll show you how it works for boom as well now look at this place okay it didn't meet here okay but it met here now if you have placed your horizontal line here you would have taken your five to six candles from here because this is where it cuts okay all right look at it here look at it on top of the green okay now look at where it cuts it cuts here if you count from here then that is one two three four five six seven before these small small spikes okay so that's the back testing on crash okay let me show you on boom okay all right this is boom 1000 and whatever i said there uh, the opposite is the case here so on boom you are looking at the green signal line on your right and the red signal line that is the loop on your left now still uh, the same process you bring in your horizontal line look at it now a previous loop was made okay look at the previous uh, loop now we are considering the previous loop made by the red on boom now a previous loop was made by the red look at it i place my horizontal line right above it and then i wait for the green uh, loop to come up and to cut it look at the point where it cut. let's move to the dollar uh, position now look at where it cuts it okay look at where it cuts it look at where it cuts it all right and appears up you place your trade and take your 15 10 to 15 candlesticks 10 to 15 candlesticks before the spike so look at where it cuts it and then you are taking your 15 candlesticks all right let's keep back testing um let's keep back testing remember this one was a false entry look at it because the green did not get to the horizontal line so you ignore it you have numerous entries okay now look at this look at this it did not cut it as well it only touched though yeah it appeared a bit so if you are a pro trader you can still take this now let's keep back testing and back testing now look at this is perfect now this both are above the 70 line this was the previous loop made by the red look at it here previous loop made by the red and then at that dollar sign cut here look at it you are taking it uh, 10 to 15 can even if you want to take 20 but stick to between 10 to 15 okay 
All right, let's check one more. Now, look at this place. A previous loop was made, but the loop is not very close. But as many loops that you can see between the charts, okay, to this place. Now look at it. It was on top of here. And then look at where it cuts. You would have taken your 10 to 15 candles down, okay? So that's it for boom 1000. Let's check boom 500. 500. Also. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, just look at this place. Remember I said any red loop that you can see within the chart from that dollar position where your current market position would be at that time any loop you can see that is above the 65 level you can place your horizontal line right above it while the green loop is forming okay just like this one now now this was a previously formed loop that is above the 65 okay now let's place our vertical i mean a horizontal line right up on top of it you see why i said you must always have your horizontal line on the indicator window and look at it it was right on top of it now at the dollar position look at the dollar position this is where it cuts you would have taken your four to six candlesticks okay all right that's for boom 500 now the same thing happened here okay look at the dollar position here this was the dollar position okay so it cuts it here look at the horizontal line was upon the red loop and this was the place where it cuts okay it cuts here you would have taken your one two three four five six seven but i said stick to between four and six okay so it's all over the places remember look at this this particular one it didn't meet though a pro trader can still take it because it's cuts and it appeared above okay you would have still taken this uh four to six candles and you're out of the market okay very reliable and very straightforward okay even here look at it here it cuts it cuts and appeared up okay you would have taken your one two three four five six seven if you want to and you're out of the market okay so it's all over the places and uh, i'm going to take live trade with you before we call it a day now feel free to contact me and ask me any question if you are finding it difficult using the strategy but it's a very powerful strategy and my vip strategy for that matter okay so we're going to take live trade now if i see two i'll take but if i don't see two i'll take at least one live trade to still demonstrate how it works okay guys um the condition was met here though we are late but we can still take up to five or six candlestick okay so let's just place this trade straight away okay let's take up to two trades and then we are taking just uh, four to six candles actually the condition was made here look at it it was made here okay by now we are supposed to exit this trade but then uh, i know it will still go up okay but you don't have to take this kind of risk i've made my further analysis even though we have a resistance somewhere here but i've made my analysis and uh, I'm pretty sure uh, we are still going to take up to six, uh, five or six candles, uh, between four to six candles, okay, before the next spike. Okay, remember the condition was met somewhere here. Okay, this was where the crossing took place. I hope you can see my vertical line. Okay, I mean uh, my horizontal line. I placed it on top of the green and look at where it caught somewhere here. Okay this is where it caught so if i had taken the trade by now i would have exited i came late actually so even like that we're still going to take up to four five candles all right so i'm going to pause the video and i'll come back after four to five minutes okay all right guys we've taken almost four candlesticks and we are still on that uh, resistance and it can spike any moment from nine okay 
so we are just going to remember we enter the trade late so we are going to exit the trade because we've taken four candlesticks already so let's just exit the trade right okay okay yeah i took that was crash 500 remember on crash 500 and boom 500 you had to take uh four to six candlesticks we entered lately we should have entered somewhere here and by now uh we were supposed to take up to um, between four to six candles it actually trends and i know it's going to break this uh resistance but we just uh you know exited so that's it guys if i see another opportunity uh i'll still take more trades live and pause the video to come back when the tp is hit because this video shouldn't be too long okay so i'll still check to know if i can get more opportunity all right